fuzzling us was the fact that the federal government has banned all mining activities since 2016 in Zanfar. So we are not expecting to see even a Nigeria engaging in gold activities. I'm not to talk about even a Chinese national, but you are living witness. The Chinese personnel are here and they are engaged very much in and that illegal mining activity. The will be made by Inspector General of Police because from here we transfer them to Abuja and Abuja will make necessary decisions and our own stop. I often see they have these big arrests where they go and capture a bunch of sort of illegal uh, Chinese gold mi miners. So they go there, illegally mine the gold, but in the process they divert river systems, they use a lot of chemicals of course for the whole mining process which is very bad to the I don't know who. You kill our animals? No, you see me have color. I still not kill animal. I still not kill animal. I don't know who is there. And this one? Who is the one of this one? This one same. This is together. I don't. And there are two Muhammad 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 were on Friday charged with possession of suspected stolen items at Buganda Road Court. This follows an ongoing police probe that unveiled the racket after concerns by some neighbors. The raid showed motherboards of used phones and laptops reportedly stolen in Uganda, then repackaged and exported to China. And these motherboards uh, for the phones we suspect were snatched from Ugandans. There were also wildlife exhibits like tortoises, pangolin scales and fish maw also recovered from this house. This is not a phone processing plant, but a makeshift control room with over 2,000 phones, each connected with a Ugandan SIM card in the names of certain individuals. Several Airtel and MTN new lines are visible. So far, police investigations show that these are used for financial crime, especially on the WeChat social media. We note that these phones were connected to an online platform called WeChat. This is basically a Chinese-owned platform and it is used for messaging and financial transactions. Now, the preliminary investigations we've had indicated that there were so many financial transactions done on that WeChat. And uh, basically the targets were Chinese. Whether there are some other transactions that have been done that compromise our financial institutions and even the security generally. Uh, there is also something uh, we have also noticed that all these telephones which are up are bearing the Ugandan telephone lines of Airtel majorly with over 1,895 SIM cards and also MTN of around 223. Well, uh, this is one of the rooms that uh, these Chinese have actually been uh, sleeping in, as you can see, uh, the bed sheets and the duvets. But again, according to police, uh, they picked interest in another potential crime, that is smuggling, because in this room we have boxes and boxes of cigarettes, and uh, if I can read here, it's uh, set walls. And according to police, they're investigating how these boxes of cigarettes got into the country, and still, they're yet to find out if it's actually one of the types that is allowed to enter the country. According to police, some of these suspects were also transacting business without work permits, as many entered the country. These uh, Chinese that had escaped from the quarantine are being taken to uh, some apartment on Chambago Road, together with um, the house helps that have been uh, taking care of them. The number has steadily increased now to over 50 people, and they're all uh, boarding the bus, uh, aided by um, the DPC police, that is Afande Kasijere, and a team of uh, medics from the Ministry of Health. So those are the pictures that you see. But then I see it's not only Chinese that are here. We also have some people from Ethiopia. There are quite a big number of people. The lady who uh, aided their escape from the quarantine center is also going along with them. And Ouais. 
On a dit, on respecte la loi. Merci. Nous allons aller écouter l'autorité. Si une autorité n'a pas de solution, ceux-là, tous ceux-là que j'ai vus avec les gouvernements, ne dormiront pas en dimanche. Ouais. Tout le travail à Boufa, jusqu'à ce que tous ceux qui portent le bouquin là quittent ici. Ouais, Nous respectons ouais. beaucoup l'autorité, mais on ne veut pas des gens qui viennent ici pour prendre le bois contre les Guinéens. Ouais. Ouais. Vraiment. Notre indépendance, on ne peut l'avoir que dans notre pays. Nous respectons beaucoup les étrangers. Qu'est-ce que vous avez fait pour comprendre les problèmes lui, c'est sa force là qui va vous arrêter. Non. C'est son bois là qui va vous arrêter. Non. Si on disait aux travailleurs, c'est aller chercher les bois. Ouais. Allez chercher les bois. Et venez aussi avec les bois. Venez les attaquer avec les bois. Qu'est-ce qui allait se passer C'est la mort. C'est la mort. C'est seulement en Guinée. C'est seulement en Guinée que ça peut se passer. Tous les travailleurs, pardon. Laissez-nous faire notre travail. Allez là-bas. Merci. 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 Africa is a huge continent, could, mm. could feed thousands of more people, but the uh, policies of the West, especially in, in Europe. For example, between 1990 and the year 2000, the United States, Canada, and Europe contributed about $6 billion in contraceptives, not to help the people, not to give clean water, clean food, uh, that mm -hmm. is uh, not, not to fight malaria, for example. No, of course, perish the thought, never. Yeah. Let them die. That's the whole idea. So in our work in HLI, we denounce this reality to make the Africans aware that they have to defend themselves against the, the influence of foreign powers. Is it, is it just the United States, or do you believe that China is also playing a role um, in, in jockeying for the resources of Africa? China is playing a major role because China is buying property in Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, in Mozambique, which is a Portuguese-speaking uh, language country, they, uh, when Portugal was in charge of Mozambique, they used to export rice. Now they are importing rice from China mm. because they cannot produce. The, the socialism has wrecked the, the production of, of rice. And the Chinese come and buy farms. So about uh, almost a third of Mozambique belongs to China. So uh, I was in other countries of yeah. Africa, the same reality in okay. South Africa. The Chinese are buying property, buying land in Africa. So and they, they send their own workers, the Chinese workers. They don't employ people over the place. They have sent their own workers to populate and to was the um, was involved with the government. And it explicitly states, which to this day, it remains the official policy of the American government. It has not changed. Mm -hmm. It may not be implemented by mm -hmm. Trump, but it remains the same. That uh, the purpose of the foreign policy in Africa was to uh, reduce the, the population. So to give aid to countries in Africa, not uh, clean water and schooling and things like that, but uh, contraception and abortion. In order to re shrink the population of Africa because they have great mineral resources there. That sounds diabolical. It I mean, is. I, I, yes. That sounds like something conceived in the mind of Margaret Sanger. Yeah, definitely. And so the, uh, at the time, Kissinger and those involved with the Carter administration wanted to shrink the population, make sure that the Africans do not develop and do not use the resources for themselves. Because we in the States, we need them. There is a, a concerted effort of foreign powers to uh, control the population of Africa.